Good morning and welcome back to Loch Tay Highland Lodges. As I said at the end of the last video, I am up early this morning, off down to the loch for the post-sunrise glow. Here's hoping we can get some nice images. It's not quite as nice this morning as I hoped it would be, but it might look nicer down by the loch. I've literally just rolled out of bed, so excuse me if my hair is a mess and I look a pretty tired. But it is currently just after five o'clock in the morning, Staying in the camping pod, I need to try and be quiet so that I don't interrupt Sophie too much while she's sleeping. But anyway, the loch is just down here. We're almost there. Fingers crossed it looks better when we get there and fingers crossed we can get some images. That is all I can say is wow. Look at this view right now. The post sunrise light over lochs is always the best. At this time of day it's normally so calm, so still, you can hear the dawn chorus and you've got these gorgeous reflections on the water. The sun isn't quite as bright as I'd hoped it would be this morning. I was really hoping for some really nice golden glows. The light's still okay though, so I'm going to get my camera out and see if we can get any images. But well, my goodness, I very nearly never got out of bed this morning, but I am so glad I did. I mean, just look at this. It's so, so beautiful. through quickly what I'm doing. I'm trying to make the most of this gorgeous light before it disappears. I have got my polarising filter in situ. I've also got a soft grad neutral density um, filter on as well. The light, like I was saying earlier, isn't quite as gorgeous as I'd hoped it would be, but the reflections are beautiful. It's not making for the nicest light in terms of photographs, but being out this early in the morning and witnessing this was well worth getting out of bed for. Having said that, we have got some beautiful um, mist beginning to appear now on the mountains behind the boats, which could add some more interest to the images. So of course I'm going to sit it out here, wait for quite a bit longer and see what else manifests. as I'm sure many of you have realised, I've really been trying to get more creative with my photography and 
I was taking the reflection shots that kind of everybody would take. Obviously it's very, very interesting, it really draws you in, the reflections against the loch. But I was thinking more about foreground, middle ground and background and the best photographs have got that, a foreground interest, a middle ground and a background interest. So I came across this here, which is obviously the, the edge of this pier. And on the edge of that pier there's a nice spider web, the kind of goldeny yellow light is hitting it just, I mean it's not the best light, I've already said that, but it's hitting it. It's giving it really nice in and interesting foreground to the image. The middle ground is obviously the water and the background is giving us the mountains. And although it's not the best photograph in the world, it's a lot more interesting than the other ones I've taken this morning. And it's kind of reminded me how important it is to get those three elements into a photograph, to lead the viewer's eye in, to give it good depth of field and to make it a far more interesting image. So when you're out taking photographs, make sure you're looking for these things. Make sure you're looking for objects that are going to give the, in, the image more interest, give it that depth and really make it punch. best of the light now from the pier. I'm going to take a walk along the shore and see if I can find any more interesting compositions. I have never been down this shore before so I'm not really sure what to expect but it's early morning, nobody's around and it's quite an exciting way to explore and get your own unique take on a place. <laughs> shows you how quickly things can change. It's only about 10 minutes since I last spoke to you all and in that time this breeze has, has churned up and is making loads of ripples in the water and now there is not a single reflection on the water to get a good image of. It's only just over an hour since the sun rose. It, that just shows you that you have to be out there in time for the sunrise or that post sunrise hour because that is when you're going to get the best images and getting up early and experiencing that even if you don't get any images it's well worth it it's such a beautiful time of day I am just going to go exploring along this loch now see if we can find anything else exciting I'm pretty sure pretty sure that the best of the light is now over but you never know but I'm still going to do a wee bit of exploring and see if I can discover anything else. Do you know what's been so nice about getting up early this morning? It's not necessarily been the photography, it's not necessarily been this gorgeous view but it's been listening to the dawn chorus. At this time of year, there's so many birds on the go and as soon as my alarm went off this morning in my camping pods, I could hear the birds singing. It is just such a lovely thing, such a lovely thing to spend the time to listen to and to appreciate. And then coming down to this loch, I've had ducks, I've had oyster catchers, I've had a couple of noises that I didn't recognise. And I'm still near this woodland, so I've still got the birds tweeting away in the forests. I've heard cuckoos this morning. I've even heard a chiff chaff. The noises that the birds make early in the morning. So many people miss out on this every day. And while I don't get up early every day, just getting up early, just even just one day a week, to listen to this spectacle and to enjoy it, 
especially when you're on holiday. Being on holiday may be a time to relax and to, to lie in and just to, to rest. But sometimes getting up early and just coming out and doing something relaxing like I've done this morning. I've barely done any exercise, I've not done much thinking. I've just got up, gone to the end of that jetty, enjoyed the view, leisurely taken some photos. I wasn't rushing around, I wasn't stressing, I was just doing it for fun. And then coming now and finding this bench at the end of the, the campsite, at the end of the holiday park, overlooking this gorgeous loch, and listening to the birds that surround me. This is really such a great way to spend and to start my final day of my holiday. These four days have gone in so quickly. We've done so much though, but I can't believe that it's time to go home this afternoon. I'm never gonna forget these four days, but it's not over yet. After we've had breakfast and that this morning, I we are gonna be heading to Glen Cove. Now before any of you get excited, we're not going there for photography and we're not going there to do any hill walking. You may have noticed that Sophie's not been in very many of my videos this time. That is because she fell off a horse earlier this week. She's been wanting me to say this all week in the videos, but I haven't. She's not injured, but she's obviously, you know, she's not right. So a lot of these big walks I've done on my own this holiday. But so yeah, we're, when we're in Glencoe, we're not going to be doing any walking or anything to get to nice photography locations. But we're going to show off Glencoe and show how beautiful it is and how great a drive it is so that one day we can come back with our cameras one day we can come back and get some images wild camp, enjoy it but we're going to take you on the road trip with us today to enjoy Glencoe, to show you the beautiful area and just to, to spend our nice relaxing drive on our way back up north, back home so, this morning's video has probably been quite short but I hope it's been tranquil and peaceful and you've enjoyed joining me at Loch Tay for this beautiful post-sunrise light. The water's starting to calm down again now, we're starting to get more nice reflections. And having said that, the light is also getting nice again as well, so I may get my camera out again. But I'm just going to sit here for another 15-20 minutes and enjoy the view before starting my final day here in some of the most iconic and most beautiful locations around Scotland.